I don't write love poems. But tonight, this pen is pissed and this tea is too nasty for me not to spit. Cause I am disgusted. I'm Erica and Ariane watching Mimi Foss testing shower rods repulsed. I am sick. <laughs> I don't write love poems, but I'ma write this cause this kid got me hit and man. What a feeling. <laughs> As my sight grazes physical form, my prey known as with they fine ass decides to stop. <laughs> the location of they foot on my neck, and just like that, I was caught in some bullshit. <laughs> and it stank on some foul shit, my heart sinking, anchoring to linoleum tiles under waves of thirst traps and kissy eyes. My eyes, somehow distracted from former deceptions and falsehoods as if your love wasn't a siren singing 90s R&B in order to trap me on your list of aids to bust your nuts. And nuts for me to act like the same fuck I said I'd never be, but all that is besides the point. Which means it's facts, so catch the fuck up. Come on. I don't write love poems, I write Resentful elegies on why I don't write poems about that black ass shit y'all call it. I fell in love once and it was, it was all right. I mean, it wasn't all oh, that. Let's, 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 let's be fucking real. Let's be real. It was hell. Yeah. My heart felt like a 37 year old divorcee Angela Bassett in the blockbuster hit Wedding Takes Hell. By the way, Angela Bassett, right? She's that girl. And she was that girl when she said that nigga's car on fire. But this asshole ain't have a car. And I'm pretty sure that's a felony. A felony charge I'm not fixing to keep over nobody, honey, so let's get it on. So as Stella got her groove back, I had to find out who I really was. And trust me, finding yourself is like me trying to find my glasses. And here's the catch without my glasses. That shit is just too fucking hard to do. Even with a flash on my phone turned to its highest setting to catch just that tiny glint of metal that would lead me back to the site I so dearly needed. I don't write love poems, but I should write them because, and I hate to be the Regina George of slam poetry, but <laughs> let's be real, I'm the realest nigga I ever knew. <laughs> Why wouldn't I dedicate this song to me? This song, The Sweetest Thing by Lauryn Hill. It's vocals serenading myself and it's chords reading my life for days, honey. So as I put on Don't Trust No Nigga by Kaya. Yeah. Yes, yes, that Kaya. I lift myself off that lonely linoleum and take that musty ass foot off my neck and go about my blind and beautiful ass day. Thank you.